Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Side Quest on Playframe. You'll never guess what I upgraded. It's it's this. Yes. Very large chunk of rock in the shape of a sword, which does explosions apparently. Excited to try it out. Now, before we try it out, a couple things. One, we need to get us a level. There. Vigor at 60. That feels comfortable for now. Where do I want to put points next? I feel like I just want to keep faith going. I think I do. Strength could go higher. Mind could go higher. Well, dexterity, obviously, could go higher, but it's not the physical attack stat that I'm relying most on. And we could start putting some in Arcane, but Faith kind of feels like the other main damaging stat that I am leaning on, and I would love that to go high enough to be able to use most anything and also get the most damage scaling out of these spells as I can. So yeah, I think that's where I'll probably start putting points. At least get it to 50. Then we'll see. That'll be a while. Anyway, other reason I'm over here is because y'all alerted me to something. So, we have said hi a couple of times here to Dead Leaf Dale. But, um, y'all reminded me of something that I had forgotten. I had received, uh, shortly after fighting Rolana, I'd found a missive. Making mention of, if I can find it, here we go. A letter bearing a terse message and an illustration of a monk, his hands held together. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There's no need for words. I had forgotten about this. I'd expected to run into a different monk figure, I guess. <laughs> Further, and, uh, well, this is probably the monk. Now, challenge me to a bout. There's no need for words. Suggests you could just attack, but I don't really feel comfortable doing that with an NPC. Fortunately, we see here, like, a drawing of a figure, kind of in a interesting little pose here, and we do also have a gesture, which I'm assuming we also, like, unlocked or found around the same time. It was a little while ago at this point. We have this gesture here, May the Best Win, which feels like challenging to about, and is also a little more sporting-seeming than just walking up and punching in the face. So, let's give this a shot and see if you... Well, you probably won't say anything, but will you do something? Or give me something? Let's find out. Um, check out this very large sword, taller than either of us. May the best win. Ooh. Oh. 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 I see. Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're a monk, all right. You're, you're, you're doing punches and kicks. Hey, you also play Frisbee, finally. Finally found another fan of the sport. I want to see the explosion in action. Maybe I need to do a follow-up input. Uh... With the L2. There it is. Oh, that's cool. I love your style of fighting. Can you teach me? Ow. Yeah, you don't leave a lot of time or opportunity for guard countering. That's fine. I'll just keep you staggered, I guess. There we go. Good fight. 
We could have just talked if you wanted, but okay. Nice to meet you. So, um... Nice. I had a feeling. Dry leaf arts and Dane's hat. May we never forget Dead Leaf Dale. The sun faded and slightly soiled hat of Dry Leaf Dane. Worn low over the eyes, it obscures the wearer's vision. Meeting the gaze of another can overcome the senses, often leading to the downfall of those who would walk the noble and solitary seeker's path. But these! A technique for hand-to-hand -hand combat without the aid of a weapon. This martial art combines fist strikes and kicks. The teachings of a group of spiritual seekers known as the Dry Leaf Sect revealed only to those of worthy valor and character. The practice of this martial art marks the dawn of an ascetic's journey. Palm Blast. Skill of the spiritual seekers known as Dry Leaf Sect imbues hand with energy before using a palm strike to unleash an explosive blast. The already formidable power and impact can be bolstered by charging the attack. Well. No harm drying it out. So, light attacks, like that's your combo, you just kind of keep on doing a bunch of this, which is cool. Heavy attack, bigger charged, punches and kicks. It's very cool. And the L2, boom. Ah, that's cool. Neat. Neat. I don't know how effective it ultimately is, but could be fun to toy with. Anyhow, um, I kind of expected there might be more to that character. Maybe we should check in with Leda, ask if that's how interactions with Dane always go. So, um... We are all utterly captivated by right, no, I... Utterly, it is but... What binds us together. I had a question about the monk. Oh, that man is known as Dane. Was known as Dane. He's been in the service of Mikula the Kind longer than I. He might be solemn of cheer, but is a fierce warrior nevertheless. True. There's no cause for concern. Anymore. Dane's reluctance to speak to you is no fault of your own. We've been acquainted for quite some time, but even I am yet to hear his voice. Perhaps one day. Maybe we'll just leave it at that. They'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. Let's explore these ruins. We were right next to him. And I'm curious. We got ghosts. Lots of ghosts. Hmm. The place is big and pretty spread out and very ruins. Ooh, another of these. Been a while. Thank you. Hey, hello. Almost got the jump on me there, huh? How would you like to explode? Haha. -ha. I think it's cool too. What a neat moveset you have. Boy, that does damage though. 
Bye. Those things are neat. I get the sense that lots of people do not enjoy fighting those things. I have not, like, they are hard. But I have not found them to be super obnoxious. Might just be my build talking, though. The guys who do that uh, bonfire side chat podcast that I've mentioned a few times and highly recommend, uh, they have this kind of common saying they go back to that Souls games find your weakness. Which means, like, whether it is a weakness in your build to something that your build is not really, like, super good at handling, or a weakness in just your, like, kind of, uh, strengths as a player. Like, they're, like, a particular sort of, oh, goodness. A kind of enemy that just intimidates you or challenges you or is just hard for you to get a read on. Like, these games have all kinds of different sorts of challenges. Eventually, you're going to run into some enemies that are just a big problem for you. <laughs> That may not be a problem for anybody else. And you may coast through stuff that other people find hard. But Souls games find your weakness. I like that a lot because it feels very true. Give me whatever you have. And there's another one over there. Hey, thanks for the fragment, though. Love that. Don't love not being at full health for this, though. Ah, I'm just missed. It's such a cool way of moving. Nyeh. Wish I wasn't out of FP. We'll make it work. Yeah, it feels like being tanky with a great shield is a pretty great way to not shut them down, but minimize how much of a hassle they can be with the aggressive offense. They really throw at you. So I've I've seen the large hole we can start descending. I, I want to see what they might be hiding out here first. Um, what am I hearing? Right! Right, almost forgot about you. Y'all have fun with that. I... I will get to that when I get to that. I fought two of them already. They are not pushovers. I'm in exploring mode right now, thank you. Come on, ghosts. I can one-shot all of you at this point. I'm doing you a favor by looking the other way. Please allow me to do you a favor. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we going to find down here? Nope. I love that little purple glittery glow you get with each hit. Really neat.
Yeah, this is just turning into a cave. Oh, another of these caves that can... Oh, this is how we're going to get down here. Cool. But... What if I keep going this way? Whoa. Whoa. There's much more to these ruins than I expected. And also, I don't know if I can get back up here if I drop down there, so hang on, let's... If we can go this way without having to commit to a direction... I guess I can mount up, so I can double jump. So I can get back. But also, this looks like it's pretty one-way, so... Glad I checked this first. Alright. Where were we? Whoa. Whoa. Danger. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh. Haven't seen some of you in a while. Ow. There we go. I forget if there was a name for them. I don't know if we've found a thing that gives them a specific name yet. They look like horn scent. They look like... Kind of like folks native to this land, but... Golden Arcs. Ooh. Sorcery of the Inquisitors of the Tower. Ooh, maybe that's what they are. Wielded as an incantation of the spiral. A swing of the arm releases a procession of golden arcs. Charging enhances potency. The arcs resemble barbs, a known symbol of coercive questioning. It's a thing I can cast. They said sorcery, and I thought, oh, I guess maybe it's not a thing that I can use, but nope. It is an incantation. Neat. I'll have to try that out later. Haven't found a ton of new incantation toys down here yet, but I knew that was going to change eventually. Hmm. Oh, hi. Ghost. Please. Given just what we've seen of Bellarat, I suppose I'm not surprised to find that they have Inquisitors. Still feel like I'm missing some pieces of the puzzle in a larger understanding of Hornscent and the folks who live here, though. I wish to learn more. And hello? Where am I? Haha! Success. Yay. Oh, there's pots here. Good. Good. Hey! I wondered, we're in Bonnie Village. Cool and probably creepy. That's something to look forward to. Hmm. Should we... Well, let's rest first. Yay. Should we... Well, we should 
get our new spell in here so we can try it for one. Where are you? There you are. Maybe we should pop back up and deal with the dragon first, right? Like, it feels like this could lead to so many new places and there's not that many things left around here to check on, I feel like. Yeah, let, let's double back, make sure there wasn't some other neat place to drop here in these ruins and uh, then deal with the dragon and see what we can do over here first. Because as soon as I start exploring that village, I feel like it's going to be very hard to pull myself away just to backtrack for things that might not even be here. Why is this place crumbling into the earth, I wonder? Just the ravages of time, or... Did something happen here? And can I get up here? This feels like something I could... Possibly... Possibly... Platform up. The music's getting more intense considering I'm only seeing ghosts around here. Eh. Oh, come on. Come on. Hmm. Can't land there. I feel like there's got to be a way. No. Might just not be doable. Ooh, we can go in there, too. have to look at that in a minute. Had a feeling there were going to be more little nooks and crannies worth investigating up here. Ugh. Yeah. Collision <laughs> and the terrain definitely is fighting me and trying to jump up there, so maybe that's nothing. Unless... Excuse me. Maybe. This is feeling like a no. Okay. So I went down there when I went exploring earlier. And I think there's some other little places to uh, descend through. Like this. Oh, it got real bright in a hurry. Whoa. Nice. Interesting. A lot of deaths here. I'm guessing a lot of people tried dropping down and realized that was not a good idea. Shattered linchpin stone. Raises potency of kicking and stomping skills. Ooh. Linchpin stones are spiritual anchors said to hold the ground in place and to quell the fury of earthquakes. When this one shattered, the surrounding town fell into the broken earth. Oh, that's how it happened. One account claimed that the moon itself had come tumbling down. Interesting. And cool. I mean, not for this village, obviously, but... In general. Hmm... There's so many nooks and crannies here, I definitely feel like I am missing some. While at the same time, I'm just so excited to go looking at other things. Like the village down there. I should check along this edge, probably. 
just to be thorough, because like, hang on, I can't pull up the map yet, because ghosts. Because yeah, like I have explored around here. I've not checked along this cliff though. I should do that on the way over, fight dragon, see if there's anything here and a way up. If so, great, check it out. If not, back down to the village. That is our plan. Went through there. I love this map. From have really outdone themselves. Wonder what they're working on now. Armored Core is out. This DLC is finally here. Nope. I'm good, thanks. Beat you already. Could just jump up here. But we should fight the dragon. Jumping up there can be our reward. Die, bats. Hang on. Ooh. Nice. Goodness. Whoever's fighting this dragon is getting messed up. Looks like Black Knights. Yep, a lot of them. You all just keep on fighting. You're doing so little damage, though. I'm your enemy, and even I'm kind of disappointed in you. Boy, you're cool looking. If I have to take a second, whoop. Crack at this. Sorry, Torrent. Might dig out my dragon katana again. Ah, you moved. Hello. Kaboom. Ouch. Some sloppy fighting on my part. Where are you going? Hey! The dragon, though. Come on. Focus. Might be smarter of me to just be leaning on incantations and the, uh, ow. Incantations and the hammer. Holy damage really seems to do good work against this thing. Better than these zaps are, anyway. What are you doing there? Oh, right. That. Hang in there, Tish. How did I just whiff that much? Ow. I'm doing sloppy work here. Yeah. Whew. Had that little drink just in time. Me. On 
honestly kind of doing better than the sword was. <laughs> A little. Hmm. Anything else that would be venture? Maybe electro charge? That could be fun. No, oh, maybe that's around me. I see. Is it still affecting? It is a little bit. Nice. I'm zappy. Yeah. How am I missing something this big? I'm definitely not earning a win here. <laughs> Not with this play. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Deserved. Let's come back with our hammer and take this a little more seriously. Yeah. Different loadout, I think. Eh, not even with that. Folks were wanting me to be using... This, apparently the strengths of this, despite it not being, like, the stats perfect for me and my scaling and all that, is that you can, with a charged attack, attack from range and hit the dragon's head, which does do a lot more damage than hitting any other part of it. Which makes sense. So let's, now that we have another dragon to actually try it on, let's see if we can use it in the most effective way. Uh... Do I want anything else as a backup? Sure. Let's say yes. Okay. Take two. Might be better even going in, not with Tish, but with... Yeah. Mimic tier. Two of us with a sword. The Mimic tier might not use it to its, like, best effect, but then... I might not either. I haven't been up until now. Where'd my runes go, anyway? Oh. Over here somewhere. You knights, keep it busy, please. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Poof. Still isn't that much range, but easier to hit the head this way than without. Oof. Guys, come on. There's a big dragon. Prioritize your targets, please. Priorities. You fool! Fight the dragon! You too! What's wrong with all of you? You think the dragon's going to thank you? Dragon's still not going to think you're cool. Yeah, that does do some really nice damage, though. Y'all might have had a point about the big katana on the dragon. 
I swear. I should have just let the dragon kill all of you. And then gone in to help. Ow. Jerks. Eh, uh, you're right. Mimic tier, we should probably... Except that these dorks are not fighting the dragon anymore. You suck. Eh. What is this anyway? Neat. That's a cool toy. Yeah, good luck, you two. I'd help, but then you'd attack me. Judging from the strategies of your companions. Back up. Go for the head. Or try. I think it's about to exp Yep, 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 yep. Don't be under it. Go for that. Or try. Ugh. All right, I think all the knights are now handled. Ouch. Oof, we still got half a dragon to beat. Boom. Yeah, nice. Ow, hold still. Ouch. Big hit. Now get under it. Ah. Uh, not quite. Boom. Very big hit there. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Drink that, because we're out of everything else. And hey, well done, me. Thank you for the assistance. And thank none of the rest of you. You were no help at all. Terrible. I'm robbing your camp. What little remains. And breaking your dining room. Anything good? Doesn't seem like they have much good. Does seem like maybe I should rest at a grace fire. I think there's one right around here on the other side. Because I am out of healing. And that won't do. Whew. So now there's probably just a ton of knights. Gonna be a pain. It's a regular camp now, huh? Well? No, maybe not. Maybe they're just part of the dragon encounter. I'm grateful. But we can get up here, I bet. 
Come on. Yeah. Didn't even need the spirit spring. At least for this part. Worm. Boar, come on. Well, Worm, if you're cozy, then good. But these others, I don't trust. I wasn't going to come attack the turtle. Calm down. I understand the protective impulse. But I have no desire to attack your pet. Hmm. I want to reach that cross over there if I can. That might be what we do need the spirit spring for. Maybe. Hmm. Looking more and more likely, yeah. Okay. I needs it. And up. Oh. Excellent. Okay. More of you. I do not need this anymore. Anything over here? Other than goats. Just goats. Don't mind me. Nope. What did I just say? There are a lot of you, huh? Maybe we better make a stand. Surprise! Oh, that's very satisfying. Anyone else want one? Volunteers? Well? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go away. I wonder if anyone's up here. It is pretty high up and out of the way. Well, thanks for that. I abandoned here my eye. Ooh. I wonder if I can see from here... Whatever this... part of the region you apparently can get to is, like it's... obscured a little. I guess you can get kind of a part of it through this little swampy area here to the hovel, but... Hmm. I wonder. Well, we'll find it eventually, won't we? So many things to find still. We can maybe drop in even on the fort from up here, potentially. Might even be able to reach something we couldn't before.
Is that a cave? I don't think so. No. Eh, this might not get quite close enough to the fort, which is fine. I did feel like we were pretty thorough over there. Yeah. And just to be sure, nothing up here either. Does not look like it. Okay. Right? Just making sure nothing's escaping my Novdis too much. But I don't think so. I think we've covered all the stuff up here that I was feeling the need to. Which is good, because that means when we come back on Thursday, we can start exploring Bonnie Village, and ooh, I'm excited about that. I will see you all on Thursday then. For that, take care until then. Goodbye.